Right. So recently I just completed my little box here, which has three inputs, well I guess three outputs, and then three inputs that are switched. So basically you press this one big button up here and it swaps between two PCs. And on the top we have four USB outs and two ins. Um, which is kind of a little flop, but I'm just showing you this just, just because, because it's absolutely wild to make. So, and it absolutely looks like garbage. So you see in here, I didn't actually design proper ways for this to actually sit together on each other. So what I ended up doing was plastic welding all this stuff together. Uh, which was a massive pain in the neck. Uh, let's see. I don't have a piece to properly describe it, but what I my thought my plan was to have this massive ridge here and have another piece with a matching ridge and they would just slide in. Um, one of the problems with that is I had problems with Let's see if I can just show this. The 3D printer lifting. So they never actually sat flush. Um, and they never actually, per se, clicked together. Even when I viced them together to see if I could push them together. So that, that was interesting. And then when it came to the lid, I just utterly didn't even bother in putting one. Completely forgot about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, when it came to actually assembling this, this was pretty interesting because I have three slots on the bottom and then I have a hole here. So what I had to do was I had to wire them in, put them in here, and then I just glued them in because the screw holes didn't fit. <laughs> they didn't fit enough. They weren't, they didn't fit enough. So I put them in, I glued, put them in with the wires and then I had to feed the wires out through here and then put this on top. And then I had from here, I had to get all the lid, put the button in and then solder all this stuff together and then kind of squeeze these cables in here because I use ethernet cables with a single core wire. So, which is really good and all because it's really strong wire, but the problem with ethernet wire and using it for a case like this is, it it kinda, you see all these bends in there? It kinda keeps its shape. So, so it's hard to move like 12 bundles of wires without it like, without either breaking your connection or something along that lines. I, <laughs> I, uh, there are multiple pads I just ripped out uh, from soldering this on and moving the wires. All right. So once I got it in here, put the wires through, glued my board in, because I had pegs. I had, I had these pegs, but the pegs ripped the frick out. It's hard to see. So I couldn't, I couldn't actually have to use the holes I designed. So I just put the board in, glued it in, and then I noticed that I put the hole on the wrong side. So, so this little is a little button to switch the USB. So if you put power into it. It actually looks kind of cool. It's got this nice glowing effect, and then you press, and it switches between the two different units. But I designed it with the button on the wrong side, so I had to basically dremel out a hole, two different sizes, one big enough for the the actual button, and then another one inside that was recessed. 
Um, but then after putting this together, I found out that that would actually have been the perfect way. Just my design perception was wrong because the way this USB works is I thought it was kind of just like these HDMI where you would have two inputs for each PC and then having one, two outputs uh, based on the switch. But that's not how the, this switch works. Basically, you have two inputs for your one PC, PC1 and PC2, and then this is just a big hub, which is awesome. That's like such that's a, such a cool idea, but uh, <laughs> didn't have to try it out before actually putting it in here, which was you know big fumble on my part. But I don't know. It's an interesting little board setup. It's. It's easily the most rugged thing I've ever put together. The fact that when you weld it shut, the amount of adhesive I put in here, easily pretty rugged. But yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely not the best design. Um, it's definitely a, a C C plus or a C minus rating. It l literally does what my goal was, which was to switch three PCs and have an HDMI, uh, USB switch as well, but other than that, uh, doesn't win much points for style or even usability, but <laughs> that I'd post it since I made a short about it.